biography, we didn't close the tab. We're now moving on to step two, which is the spreadsheet formality. There, there is a little bit of work involved in this step, so I'd suggest that you get yourself relaxed uh, uh, with a cup of coffee or a glass of wine and uh, before you begin this step. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to download a spreadsheet. I'm choosing to save this file, perhaps, to my desktop. I'm now going to choose to rename this file, to save this file, as what it is, Tom Burton, Matt Jack, Artist Studio. So this is my name for my file, which might help me later on when I'm looking it up. I'm just going to orientate my way around this page now. Um, I can see there's a space where I put my name. First name, last name. I can see at the bottom of the page that this is my page. It says my page. It says your page. Yeah. And the page to the right of it is a management page. And the page to the further right of it is another management page and these two pages are locked. You're certainly welcome to take a look in at the end of the exercise but you'll see that these two pages are locked. Okay, so now the page is asking me to fill out some criteria that only I know, uh, such as the image title, the file size, the category re re required. Something interesting happens in that category required box. I can see it's a drop down box. So that's category one. Category two, I can see, is an optional box. And keywords. Now, keywords are quite important. Keywords are going to be the words that people can put into, prospective customers can put into a search engine to find your work or to get your work to pop up on the website. So a very important page. We'll come back to that a bit later. Okay, so where do I get my image titles from? Well, before I started this exercise, I organized my images into a file. And here's a file with all my images that I intend to upload onto um, my Jack Artist Studio. I am a Platinum member, so I'm entitled to 100 and, sorry, I'm entitled to 250 uh, pictures on my area of the website. Okay, so my first picture there in order is Albert Waterfall. It's got a numeral prefix. Uh, I'm not going to be bothered about that numeral prefix, 100220. Uh, I'm just going to go straight in with the Albert Waterfall. This area also tells me something interesting as well. It tells me the file is 6 megabytes, and it tells me it's a JPEG, and that's how... Uh, Matt Jack Artist Studio likes their work in JPEG format. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, type in the first title, which was Albert Waterfall. And I remember the file size was 6 megabytes. If I ever get stuck, of course, I can go back. I take a look at the file size. I'm going to then go to the category box, category one, which is a required field, and I'm going to put in there the category for this particular piece of work, which is nature. And I'm going to look for in category two and see if there's anything that suits it in category two. And there's nothing that suits that particular picture in category two. But that's an optional field. And then I'm going to enter my keywords. These are the words that spring to mind when I look at Albert Waterfall. So what could those words be? Let me think. Waterfall. And I need to separate these by a comma. Uganda. Again, separated by a comma. Africa. Lots of waterfalls in Africa. 
separated by a comma. Victoria, Victoria Falls, maybe that's where my mind's going. Uh, fall, uh, travel, landscape, nature, Albert, famous. And those are all the words that sprung to mind. Then I'm going to do cell number two. And again, I'm going to take a look at my art. And the next one down there is Antelope Canyon. So again, I'm going to forget about the prefix number that my computer assigned. I can see it's a 2.1 megabyte file. It's a JPEG. So I've already checked all these files are JPEGs. So off we go. I'm going to put in Antelope Canyon. And I remembered it was a 2.1. And again, that is a nature. I need to use the drop down box. That's right. And they, nothing suits it in number two. And here we go keywords. Let me think antelope, canyon, being careful to put a comma in between, Arizona, rock, nature, landscape. Sandstone, beauty, texture. And of course, these are my words, these are my thoughts, uh, um, uh, these are the words that I believe will help people to uh, find my art easier. So you can obviously recognize that there's a simple way to do this layout, and there's a, a more difficult way to do this layout. What I would suggest in completing this layout would be to quite literally to write a list of all your image titles or type a list of all your image titles beforehand using your images. Uh, type your file sizes beforehand because um, anything you can do beforehand uh, will make this process simpler and easier. But don't forget this is all in your own words. Remember to put in the file size. Uh, I remember to put in the category. Uh, there was no category two in this particular case. I remember to put in the keywords waterfall. When I look down at some, you can see with some I've uh, used category uh, two, uh, with some that suits category two. But basically, I filled up the whole sheet all the way down uh, to my 125, which is about half of my entitlement as a platinum uh, member. And what, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to save my work. It's going to save itself to the desktop, and we're coming back to that later on. Thank you.